Hey y'all. Hopefully y'all are well this this fine morning and uh, as you can tell in the background there the storm is coming. The storm is coming and I'm not talking about the weather. There's so many different things going on. Uh, yesterday's video got me age restricted because of talking about self-harm which is understandable. You can you can see that happening talking about somebody that done what he did. It's hard not to to take it that way. I'm gonna leave the video up. It's more importantly that it gets seen. I don't I don't really care about any of the other stuff. But today I wanted to talk about, you know, like the storm is coming. There I just seen a thing talking about the, you know, that the global shipping is is a concern right now because the shipping lines, we have the attacks in the Red Sea, we have all these different things that have control of the shipping in the United States and the world. And I wonder how much of it is planned and how much of it is not planned because obviously there's going to be contingency plans if things happen they're going to have a plan in order to make it past whatever problem there is if there's a supply issue they're going to have stockades somewhere where they can pull from in order to get those supplies to those locations I, every government should already have stuff in place but what do we have in place as as the citizens of the countries that have no control, we have zero control whether or not the war happens. We have zero control of whether or not we react to warlike situations. So what do we do to prepare for something like war? And what can we do as citizens to try and make ourselves useful? Not necessarily to the government, but when things happen, we're going to have to we're going to have to band together in some form or fashion in cliques or in droves of individuals that are like-minded. But obviously nobody's going to be able to do this alone. There's going to have to be some type of contingency plan as a family. I'm going to go ahead and start building one. I used to be slightly prepared, but I have not been. So the first thing I think that I'm going to do is secure a good location for some food and some water. And make sure that it is weatherproof and that it is the best situation possible to get to. So if if I cannot keep the food with me where I'm at on me in my home, then I need to keep it somewhere close. And we've talked in the past about caches in, in numerous places that you could go ahead and make up contingency plans to go to places that you want to go in order to protect your family. So all of these things are things that need to be thought of. So what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I think I'm going to stock up on some bulk rice and some bulk beans and a bunch of water. And I'm going to continue bringing these videos to you guys. And obviously the more I do these videos, the more educated I'm going to become and the better the videos are going to become. If you guys would just have some patience with me, I don't know anything about politics. In 37 years, I've not paid a lick of attention to any of it. I was a poor kid and still am a poor kid and it never affected me. And now as an adult, I'm concerned it may affect my children. So here we are. 